Turn now to another troubling sign of global warming. The U.S. government says higher water temperatures are destroying the ocean's coral reefs. There's a new report out today that estimates nearly half of the coral reefs from the Caribbean to the Pacific are in the midst of a quote-unquote long-term decline. ABC's science correspondent Ned Potter explains exactly what that means. They've been called the rainforests of the ocean, and the government scientists said the closer the reefs were to civilization, the worse off they appeared to be. In the Caribbean and Atlantic region, about 70% of the reef resources are in fair or poor condition. Coral reefs are alive, vast tangles of living things where thousands of different species live off each other. But more than just being beautiful to divers, scientists say they're useful. In the great tsunami three years ago, places with healthy coral offshore were spared the worst of the waves. They provide us fisheries, they provide us uh, culture from cultural resources, they provide us pharmaceuticals, and they provide us protection from storm events. What's harming them? No one thing, says the report. Pollution and damage from fishing nets, disease and rising sea temperatures. Scientists also say that as carbon dioxide from smokestacks and tailpipes builds up in the atmosphere, it's partly absorbed by the sea, which becomes increasingly acidic and corrosive to coral. We're moving towards a, a, a water chemistry that's not conducive for building the corals. Scientists say drug companies are now testing about 20 compounds from coral reefs as possible medicines. They argue it may be difficult to protect the reefs, but their value to us each year is in the hundreds of billions of dollars. Ned Potter, ABC News, New York.